I train and go to school at the University of Calgary. And I'm here to talk about my Paralympic journey. So there's some, you know, some simple stuff. I was born in Springton, uh, PEI, and now I live in El Canmore, Alberta. I've been on the national cross country and biathlon team for the last four years. And everybody knows what cross country skiing and biathlon is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I do those, but I do paranormal, which is, means that I do those sports, but I do that with a disability. Um, and here's a little bit of where we're going to start. So I started skiing when I was about five years old in the backyard, just kind of fun through the fields on my farm. And uh, when I was seven, I was involved in farm accident. I was trying to help my dad out, and I was walking across the farm yard, and I saw that um, some grain in our grain auger wasn't flowing right, and into the auger and then into the silos. Everybody knows what silos is? Right? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So I decided I would just give that grain a little bit of push. So when I did that, it went on one leg, but the ground was really soft. So as I pushed the grain to the middle, I started to fall forward, and this hand landed on top of the shield, so it was okay, but this hand again landed on a different part of the shield, but because I was only seven, my hand just went right through because it was too small. And within a few seconds, I cut my arm right up to there. That's just like that, uh, my arm was stuck. Well, it's so, quite short. Yeah. So I was uh, stuck in the machine, and the truck driver that was driving the truck realized that something was wrong. So he went to the tractor and turned it off. Um, he tried to pull me out, but I was too caught up in the machine, so they couldn't actually pull me out. So, and by this time, my younger brother, who was four, yes, four at the time, came, was wondering why the machine had stopped. So he kind of wandered over, and the truck driver told him to get my dad. So when my dad came, they uh, turned the machine the other way around, my dad and, my, and the truck driver, and uh, then they rushed me to the hospital. Uh, after that, they had to airlift me, which means that I had to take the uh, helicopter to Halifax, the IWK. Anybody know in, at the IWK? Yeah? A few of us, okay. So we're, we're an elite group. Very nice. It's a club, members only. And then there, they had to amputate my arm and cut it off about right here, just above the elbow. And that's how I lost my arm. 